Godzilla 101 show we huh what happened One second, please. Come on. Dang, Matt Smith. Are you guys ready to see something? To see something scary? Then look at my... Alright, so Godzilla on the one here. Welcome to Dame Matt Smith. So, something, something. I forgot the name of it. I'll get the name later on. He reacts to like scary cartoons and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, Lego play. No! Okay, but seriously, today we're gonna be checking out True Story Scary Animations Part 3. Gonna be looking at some really scary stuff. So everybody comment down below your greatest fear. Some people have a fear of heights, some people have a fear of spiders. Me, I have a fear of commitment. Now everybody Oh you got fresh sure haircut in that one. This before bed. I don't want you guys having nightmares, okay? So you know, if you can watch it during the day. If not, then you know if it's nighttime, if you're a real gangster like me, <laughs> then watch it at night. If you ain't scared of no ghosts, then, you know, yeah, yeah, just watch it at night. And you guys already know, get some of the Dang Matt Smith merch to get that out of your hoodies. The family-friendly hoodies got the link in the description below. Oh, man, let's go ahead and get scared with these reacting to true story scary animations. Do not watch before bed. It's part three. Let's do it. Lego Man! True camping stories. Ooh. Woo okay. My little chat. chat. All y'all look single. <laughs> we'll get some night fishing. Just kiss me. Wait, can I hear the audio? I don't know if I can hear the audio. Hope y'all can. Basically drank to the point where everything was funny at mm. in the night. I would guess we finally called it a night somewhere past 2 a.m. I shared a tent with one of my buds while the other two shared another tent. Broke back mountain. We heard them laughing about something. At first we laughed at the sound of their laughing. But it soon got annoying and we yelled for them to shut up. Mm -hmm. One of them responded, It isn't us. I sat up, startled at the response. I came to realize that it was the sound of only one person laughing, and it didn't sound like either one of my friends. Oh, you found my drunk. Oh, yeah, I reacted to this video earlier. I don't know if I uploaded yet, but um, I reacted to this video earlier. Good thing, that's a good thing, right? Just to let you know, I'm, um, uh, just let you know, if I look this way, I'm looking at myself in the camera. But if I look this way, 
I'm look at the screen. If I look this way, I'm look at you. So right now, I'm look at this way. What the heck? Freaking pimp right here. Ah! Let's scratch my nose. Yeah, it's been confirmed. I reacted to this video earlier today. I mean, I did want to premiere it, but I didn't feel like it. It took way too long. Why well, premiere videos be every Monday, Tuesday? That's all. Um, let me. I don't even know if it um, if my video uploaded yet. Cause I, I like crammed two both. Two videos together I try to upload them. I don't know if it uploaded yet. Far the most horrific experience of my life. No idea who or what the hell that was or what they wanted. Dang man, if you stayed to wait to see what they wanted, I'm sure somebody would have popped out and been like, It's a prank, bro, it's a prank, it's a prank. Gosh dang, see that's why I don't go camping, man. I mean the only place I camp is my own bed. Okay, that doesn't count as camping. But, see, that's why I don't go outdoors, okay? I don't do any of that outdoorsy. Ooh, let's go camping in the middle of the woods. Boy, you better get out of here. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, I didn't quite pee or poop my pants on that story. But, you know, still kind of creepy. Maybe it could have been an animal. It could have been a hyena. <laughs> yeah, not in the forest. There's no hyenas in the forest. Never mind. Or it could have been, like, some sort of laughing animal. I don't know, man. Jeez. But everybody comment down below your favorite animal. Whew, okay. To me, that laugh kind of sounded like the Joker. You know, the Joker, right? Moving on to the next one. Let's do it. Huh. True hunting stories. All creepy stories are taking place in the woods. I was doing some night hog hunting in the woods near my... Alright, last time I'm going to pause it. But, um, why everybody keep going to the woods? Now, why every horror story takes place in the woods? Like, why can't take like why can't take place somewhere normal? You know what I'm saying? Backyard. I was hiding in the tower I built about a decade ago. Dang. In case anyone's wondering, I of course had a night vision scope attachment. Mm. I guess I'm what you would consider a redneck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I guess I'm what you would consider a hardcore hunter. Oh. I don't want to bore you with the unnecessary story prolonging details, mm. so I'll make this short. And I want everyone to know that though I agree this story sounds far-fetched and crazy, it is nothing but the truth. Okay. And I, in a way, actually consider myself lucky that I'll always have such a horrifying story to share. <clears throat> so, while I was sitting in the tower waiting for movement, it finally came. I took aim and found the source. What are you hunting? But it wasn't at all a hog. Or any kind of animal I was expecting. Mm. It was a person, mm. a man wearing all black, oh. black sweatpants, <gasps> black shoes, and a black hoodie with the hood over his head. Ugh. But that wasn't the freakiest part. He was dragging a sack behind him. Oh my gosh. My heart started racing. I was pretty sure I was witnessing this guy trying to bury a body. I continued to watch him, but then he slowed down. I swear to God. Looked as if he turned his head up to me. Oh, 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 oh. No! <laughs> I ducked down under the wooden walls of the tower, shaking in my boots. Yes, I had a gun, 
Man, I thought he was gonna say shaking in my boots. Yes, I wear boots. <laughs> he had a gun. He had a gun. But just the idea of using it against a person is horrifying. Do it, man! He lay low, praying to God that he hadn't seen me. It wouldn't make sense if he could, though. It's practically pitch black out here. Or at least, that was my logic. He had night vision goggles. Seconds felt like an eternity. Ugh. As I waited for the footsteps of the leaves to move elsewhere. Mm. I didn't hear any footsteps. All I heard was sound of a foot hitting one of the wooden planks on the ladder of the tower. <gasps> oh, I thought the entire tower vibrated and shake as there were two more steps moving up the ladder. Oh my god, that's so scary. At this point, I was asking myself deep down, am I going to be able to shoot someone? That close? No. But for some reason, whoever was down there decided not to climb all the way up. Yeah, because they heard them jump back down to the forest ground and began dragging the sack away. Oh, that's so scary. I stayed frozen like a statue for at least 10 minutes before even peeking over the ledge again. The coast seemed clear. I had to get home and warn the police immediately. Duh. I hopped over the ledge and descended down the ladder. I turned on my pocket flashlight, which <laughs> in hindsight was a stupid move considering the situation. And Nerd. Went back in the direction of my house. You have a pocket flashlight. I was only able to run for about 10 seconds or so when I heard the rapid, manic footsteps crunching the leaves from oh behind me. I took a look over my shoulder, and there he was, inches away from oh! the face. Run! I spun around and shot him in the shoulder. <clears throat> he stopped and screamed in agony, and I took that moment to finish my dash to my house. Jeez. Again, in hindsight, I should have held him up somehow. You. Duh. But that doesn't even matter now. I called the police, who showed up within 15 minutes with a whole search squad, and I led them all into the woods to the exact location where I shot him. Oh my gosh. There was a faint yet noticeable blood trail spilled onto the leaves, which led past the body bag, which the cops seized, and eventually right to the maniac, who was hiding under a log next to a tree. Oh my gosh. He was arrested and tried for the murder of Jen Quen Sakanaki, a Japanese corner store owner. What? I don't know the full story behind it, but I do know I won't forget this one for the rest of my life, and I'll also be telling it for the rest of my life. What? Come on, man. Don't you know snitches get stitches? You can't beat man, boy. Get that out of here. You're gonna be telling the story for the rest of your life, man. But boy, snitches. I ain't no snitch. Except for Rachel McDonald, who stole my Cheetos in the seventh grade. Yeah, I know you're watching this video. You owe me a bag of Cheetos, Rachel. Cool. Okay, that was a little bit scarier. That was a little bit creepy. That was creepy, especially when the murderers started climbing up the stairs to the tower. Ooh, that was, that was my teeth all white. I'm such a little child, man. But it's a good thing because you know I ain't about to now you see me. Ooh, now you don't. I see is my eyes. Nightmares that read into reality. <gasps> okay. I was having a horrifying dream. Oh. Possibly the most disturbing nightmare of my life. I was so I did react, react to this. I said that already. I don't know. I'm tripping. Stairs in the dark, not turning on any lights to where I thought the sound was coming from. I was on my middle floor now. The dream was telling me to go downstairs to my laundry room, and so I did. But as I got there, expecting the noise to be louder and closer, it sounded like it was just as far as before. <laughs> now I was going upstairs to the kitchen. It was strange, outside of every window was complete blackness. Not general nighttime darkness. There was nothingness. It was a dream. All that existed in this dream was my house. Now my dream suggests that the banging sound was coming from upstairs. So I went back upstairs. You gotta do what your dream tells you to do. Door. Peer pressure. It was surely beyond that door. Was it great? I opened it. There was an old woman standing by a bunch of boxes. She was slowly but loudly slamming her hand on one of the boxes, uh. producing an unnatural sound. Wow. I tried to she quietly met. step back away from the attic, but the old woman turned around, opened her mouth twice as wide as anyone humanly could, reached out her arms, uh. and began to scream. Uh. What's she about to do with that? <laughs> That's when I woke up. I thought it was just a horrific dream, but when I heard a bang coming from downstairs... I can't even do it. Similar to what I heard in my dream, 
Oh my god. I felt my heart completely drop. On my way downstairs, there was another thing. It was the front door. Heck no. I got the butcher knife from my knife holder in the kitchen. Crouched behind the door. I was waiting for the next time he would pound on the door, and I would warn him to go away. I waited for a good minute in silence, and finally decided to take a quick look through the window. Heck no. There was somebody standing in my driveway. I couldn't tell if he was facing me or looking at me or not, but he was surely the one who was pounding on my door at four in the morning. He walked away down the sidewalk moments after he must have noticed me. It's just UPS. Pounding on my door That's was it. the kind of pounding you would expect. There ain't no UPS, bro. No. Not to get a house owner's attention. They just had a package for you. That's all. Amazon Prime. It was Prime. just crazy and horrifying that the pounding and banging from this potential robber or killer Who? didn't wake me up. Rather, it became the key point to a horrifying dream. Mm. Ooh, okay. Oh, jeez, man. Nightmares that read into reality. Ooh. That is really scary, though. There's sometimes, you know, in a dream, something's happening. It's like a sound. And then you wake up, and then you hear that same sound. It's like, now you see what? me again? Oh, man, see, that's why now I you don't, don't watch horror movies or, like, listen to scary stories before going to sleep. See, even in my dreams, I'm a coward, okay? If I hear a noise, even in my dream, I'm running, man. I don't know where to, but I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm calling an Uber, and I'm getting up on out of there. Woo! Man, that's it for reacting to true stories. Um, first of all, look at my goofy face. I took a picture of myself. Anyway, make sure I caught you punch that like button in the face like a boss. Wait, 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 wait. Peace.